Hello, my darlings, my friends. Welcome. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. I feel this connection with you. It's a very special connection. And I am very excited to do this reading for you today. Today we are doing how my person is thinking, feeling about me right now. We will also get some ideas about what might be going on in the relationship. Now, these are tiny little readings um, with a few cards. You each have, you each got your own deck. I think you each got four cards um, plus a Doreen Virtue card. It's possible you got three cards, but I think... Oh, oh, yeah, you got four cards total. Um, so that's, please do remember, they're general. So take what resonates with you and leave the rest. Don't make life-altering choices or decisions based on this or any other video. Pick a card, but you can connect with me via Keen. With I have that info below in the description box of this video on YouTube. If you're viewing this video somewhere else, it will be somewhere where you can find it, that link to me and Keen. So how does this work? It's easy peasy pudding and pie. The card toppers correspond with timestamps below in the description of this video. You can choose one or you can choose a few or you can choose them all. <laughs> Some people do. Um, and I think that's all I really have to say to you before. No, it's not. I always have more to say, don't I? Anyway, let me have a little sip of coffee. You guys go ahead. I'm going to show you the car toppers up close mm. in just a moment. Um, I also want to say, um, do go ahead and give me that thumbs up if you like this video so far. Or if you don't like your reading, give me a thumbs down because I appreciate any any comments, any, any criticism, whether it be, you know, just do it, just do it, just say it. Um, I will take down hateful things though. So don't say anything hateful if you don't mind. And also do like this video. Oh, I already said that thumbs up. That's a like subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell. So you know, when I'm uploading videos, share this video with friends that you think will like it. And most importantly, come back. Come back, come back, come back. Now, go get your beverage. Pause the video. Go get your beverage if you don't have it yet. We always like to have something comfy. It could be hot chocolate. It could be coffee like I have. It could be um, a shot of tequila. <laughs> I like to pretend like you've come to my door and I'm serving you over my table and we're talking. So, let's look at these car toppers. That's our green heart selenite. This one is our rose colored heart that someone told me what it was. I'm not sure. This one, I call it onyx. Sometimes I call it obsidian. I'm not real sure. <laughs> it's, I do know that it's beautiful. It's black. It's really a really nice, nice palm stone. And last but not least, we have our labradorite, or maybe labradorite. It has this beautiful sheen. Okay, so um, go ahead and take the all the time you need to pick your pile or pick your piles because as I said, you can pick more than one. That's fine. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and have a sip of coffee and then we'll get started. If you need more time, mm, oh, that's good coffee. Go ahead and pause the video and take all the time you need. We'll wait. We'll wait. It's fine. <laughs> okay. I know, I'm, I'm super excited. Okay, because I don't usually do these kinds of videos, but yeah, and this is like the first time that I've done one about your person, what they're thinking and feeling right now. I hope that you enjoy this. Now, I'm gonna put these cards down in the order in which they were drawn, and which I drew them. And this is what we have here. Your first card is Adoring Virtue card. It says, Heart to Heart Conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. Okay, now here's the thing. You may not have any contact with this person right now. In fact, I get the feeling that this person, your person, y'all might be broken up right now. Y'all might not be speaking. That's okay. That's okay. You'll have this, if it, if it doesn't harm anyone to go back and contact this person and have this conversation, it will be a good thing to do. If it does harm someone or if you don't know how to get in touch with them, you'll have this conversation with yourself. 
let's talk about this more. So I'm saying this conversation because of here, but then we have this five of swords here. Now this could mean two things. This could mean that y'all are broken up. Um, or it could also mean for some of you, for others of you possibly, this has more to do with being able to, you've heard that saying, hindsight is twenty twenty. That's what I'm seeing here. Like you can look back and you can kind of see what went wrong or how things transpired. If when you're looking back on it, you can be more honest as well. And if this heart to heart, honest discussion scares you, it's either going to scare you or it's going to scare them, or you're both going to, well, honesty can be scary sometimes, especially when we're talking about the conversation and the conversation is what you had to do with the end of the relationship or all are, are what you had to do. This might be a fight or an argument. Um, so not necessarily a total breakup. Um, okay. So the next cards we have, and we're talking about what this person is feeling, how this person is feeling about you. And we haven't said how they feel, except that it looks like they're in need of a honest conversation. Um, also we have the world card coming through and that's very interesting because what it's telling you here, um, is about your place in the world and what your person is telling you is if we have this conversation, it will make us all feel a lot better. In fact, we'll be able to move on to what we're supposed to be doing and it'll help us to find our, our connections. Okay. Now, we keep talking about honesty in this, and we keep talking about this conversation. So they want to have a conversation with you. Um, you know, I don't know if this is more about their feelings or more about your relationship, but for many of you, this relationship isn't ended. It's not broken up. Um, for most of you, it's not. Even though you're broken up, there's still some stuff to clean up. <clears throat> so when we have the moon card coming in, this has to do with a lot of outside influences that are that are happening that affect the relationship. And this person, your person that has been thinking about this, feels like if y'all were to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation, and if you were to take that you're honest, if you were to be completely honest with yourself as to what your part in in the argument or the breakup that you had then y'all could really find a good place. And there's more to come with the moon. Now, the moon also talks about addressing the dark side or your dark side or the dark side of the relationship. In fact, with this reading, I really get the sense that there's something that hasn't been talked about that needs to be talked about. And like I said, if it's not safe to talk to this person or if you don't know how to contact them, then go ahead and take the time to have this conversation of honesty with yourself. All right, let's go ahead and move on. Let's see what we have under the rose heart. And we're going to go ahead and scoot this down here. And let's go ahead there. there. See what we have. All right. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. We're going to talk about that. So it looks like your person wants another chance. Now, this is the order that I drew these cards right here like this. And they and, and I already get two different feelings out of this. So let's get started. The first one, when I first put down these cards, I put these down first and then this one. I know I said I put them in order. I put these in order. But um, so with the first reading, I got that it's really your person is thinking about moving on, um, moving on to other energies. Your person is feeling like you are someone who has everything you need and that you can make something out of nothing and that you have all this all this energy and all this um, know-how and knowledge. And they're not feeling a whole lot of emotion towards it. Or they feel like you're not emoting towards them. Um, and with this Eight of Wands, now just, just to be clear, I did not look in the book for these. I'm using only my intuition 
and the knowledge of the cards that I have. But that was the first reading that I got until I put down this card, work on your partnership. So your person really wants to try to make it happen. And that's a whole different thing than what I saw before I put down this card. So it might be you that's wanting to move on to other things. Um, but this card is saying, you know what? It's very possible that your person is okay with your energies and your energies to move on and they're ready to move on with you. So there's several different meanings there in this reading alone. Um, so I know it might be confusing, but that's why I say take what resonates with you and leave the rest because there are at least three different meanings that I got out of this. And I feel like um, that there are at least three different people out there that needed to hear those three different things. So I hope it made enough sense. Let's move on to the next one. And we're going to look and see what's under our black heart here. Finances and career is your Doreen Virtue card. Your Vir Doreen Virtue Romance card. That's what these pink cards are. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. Okay. And then we have the Four of Swords, the Ten of Swords, and the Six of Swords. I mean, the Six of, yeah, then the Six of, I'm sorry, the Ten of Pentacles. I want you to pay, notice those dogs. And the Six of Swords. Okay. So, yes, I see something very specific in this reading, and that is that you guys, as a couple, things have been a little bit stagnant lately. However, you really have had a lot of good, but lately things have just been kind of difficult. Um, and you've been getting help from one of your family members or parents or financial help, or maybe from a friend, or maybe you just took out loans, um, that are, maybe you just find yourself in debt. I don't really get that that much though. Okay. So, and then with the six of swords, you know what it really does look like to me. And I hate to, I hate to just, I don't like negative readings, but unfortunately this has a lot of swords. This has some troubles. We have the 10 of pentacles is usually a positive card, but I'm really getting that it's putting a strain on the relationship. So what is your person thinking about you right now? It actually looks like they might be thinking of taking off. Um, I don't think that that's such a good idea because I feel like this is something that can be worked on. So, of course, I don't want you to take this reading and say, this is how you're feeling to them. Or you can, that's fine. They may or may not agree whether they're feeling that way or not, because nobody likes to be told how they're feeling. <laughs> um, but what you, what you should do with any of these is have an open, honest conversation with your person, if you can, if it's a safe thing to do. Um... But in this case, yeah, I would say definitely for anybody who chose this, um, th that needs to be addressed. The finances need to be addressed. And I know this Doreen Virtue card kind of, kind of dictated the meaning, but I think you can see it pretty clearly here. I, ha I don't have it in order. And the thing is, is about the Ten of Cups is even though this um, loan or whatever has happened here, maybe even family members are putting a strain on the relationship, it's going to be okay because this card does have a real positive vibe to it. Um, however, that the what I said was a, a vibe that I was feeling. Okay. All right. We have to take the good with the bad. And that wasn't the most one. You know, I'm not getting a lot of feelings. That's what's interesting in these readings. In fact, well, let's let's move on. I am getting some feelings, but we want to know how these how your person feels about you, and we're getting a lot of information. But it's it's well, okay, let's move on. Let's see what we have. All right. Now this one. This one 
is very interesting. Now, it ends up being very... We also have the Ten of Pentacles here, too. I'm going to put both Ten of Pentacles out so you can see the two interpretations. They both have dogs. I love cards with dogs in them. Um, okay. Right off the bat, deception. Someone is wearing the false self-mask in this relationship. Is your person feeling like you're not showing your true self, that you're not being authentic? That doesn't mean that you're not being authentic. That means that that's what they're feeling. That's what they're thinking. Okay? Um, I also see with the Five of Cups, this has to do with sorrow and loss, but it also has to do with being careful not to fall into depression with these, I said we weren't getting feelings and now we get a big feeling card here. Um, it's a feeling card of being careful not to drop into depression. It looks like your person is feeling like you are in danger of dropping into depression. Here's the thing. It's kind of the quiet before the creative force comes in. So if there's some concern, if there's some worry about authenticity or or getting depressed maybe, maybe there's maybe it's a mask of depression. Maybe maybe you're looking like you're happy when you're not or maybe um and they're and they're feeling it. They want you to be your more authentic self. However, they're worried that you're going to slip into depression. But if you look at this energy behind you, it's actually more of the quiet before the creative storm, which is a thing. You know, sometimes we feel stagnant and stuck and maybe even lost in our sorrows because there are a lot of things to feel terrible about out in the world and within our own homes and relationships. However, we have the Page of Wands coming up. And the Page of Wands is all about your new energy. It's all about working with your tools. It's all about creativity. It's all about moving forward with new ideas and new energies. And then it's moving into the Ten of Pentacles family card where and things are... So it really just looks like you've been away from your family. Um, your partner is seeing that your or your person is seeing like your person may not be your partner but um it looks like at least in some cases your person is feeling like you need to get out of self and out of the sorrow and move into this creative situation that's how they see you in your happiest self the thing is, is it's okay to be in this space for a little while. Um, maybe they feel like you've been in that space too long, but that's okay. You'll come out of it. And it looks like, you know, this is a timeless video, which means that whenever you find it, it's the right time to find it. And so um, there are a lot of changes happening um, as I film this video, and I can only imagine that as we move forward in time with this video, it's gonna, it's, it very much looks like there will still continue to be changes, but I really feel like some of the positive change in your life is going to be that you're going to be able to spend more time with family, and this could be family of choice. It's not necessarily your family of birth. So it looks like your partner is concerned about you. I don't think they're thinking that you're lying. I don't. Um, even though this card uses the word deception, I really get the feeling it's more about authenticity and them feeling like they're wanting to see you here and they're used to you being here, but you're here right now and it's got them concerned. All right. That's what I have for you guys today. I hope you liked it. I hope it was entertaining. I hope that some of it resonated with you. I know there were some very specific things in here. Um, you know, if we were one-on-one, um, -on -one, we would be clarifying a lot of this with more cards. So, for instance, let me go ahead and clarify. Um, I'm going to go ahead and clarify... This page of wands here, let's look at this energy here. And we would put down more cards. Nightmares. I see that. Look, that's the that's the um 
Ten of Cups, which is interesting um, with this. Okay, so the energy, yes, there is. It looks like you have been putting energy into family. There are things that have been keeping you up at night. You've been having nightmares, concerns, worries. It looks like the patriarch of, well, okay, they're general readings. That's why I don't clarify because this is, I am reading somebody, but I don't know. I, I want to be able, I want it to be able to resonate with more people. So anyway, there's a quick little explanation of how things might go. Uh, I love you guys. I hope this was fun for you. Do come back, like I said, and I look forward to seeing you next time. TTFN. Ta-ta for now.